Bridget, you want some eggs? I gotta get back into their routine. It's not my routine, <laughs> it's their routine. A typical morning routine is something special for Jeff Clouck and his wife, Shanna. I gotta make sure I eat plenty of bread and enough food with the medicine I take. Otherwise, it will be a rough morning. Appreciating the little things is easy for Jeff, who has endured obstacles in life far greater than what he faces on a golf course. From St. Augustine, Florida, please welcome Jeff Clouck. Last April, I was in the hospital getting ready to spend 16 days in there and having brain surgery. And here I am. Things happen fast. It just shows you that the game can come back fast. And it was good to be back out on tour. On our way to the golf course, time to go do some work. This is actually the best I've probably ever swung. I'm excited as heck to be back out playing. I've had so long off, it's like, you know, I'm giddy to get back out there and, and do all this. It doesn't matter where it is. Tell me when you first realized that you wanted to play on the PGA Tour and that that was a lifelong goal that you may actually be able to accomplish. It all started when I used to ride around with my dad at the Players' Championship. And I was growing up playing high school golf, junior golf, and I was a ranger at golf course all day long and that's what I wanted to do. Clauk spent his youth at TPC Sawgrass shadowing his father Fred Clauk, the now retired course superintendent. This is what my dad and I on number nine on the stadium course my first year playing in the Players Championship and that was always a dream of mine. He was so excited. That was probably a bigger goal than anything that I've ever achieved for him so it was cool. We're up here in my man cave and this is where I keep a lot of my golf stuff. Both played together at Florida so, Southern, and that's where you met. You played all through college together. I love the title, Romance in the Links, a perfect match. With looking at this photo, this article from 1999, I mean, where does this bring you back to? Our date nights were at the range. There's no way my husband could have married somebody who didn't understand the game. He's a hard worker. <laughs> yeah, she totally understands what it requires to play good golf. That's a true blessing, for sure. Tell me about when you were diagnosed with epilepsy. It wasn't until December 2010 when I was driving to church with a family and I had my first complex partial seizure. It was a little zone out type of seizure and Shannon knew that I had had seizures before. So she's like, something's not right here. So it was time to go see some neurologist and get some tests done. Nearly three million Americans have epilepsy, a chronic neurological disorder resulting from surges of electrical signals inside the brain. We had a lot of dark days. I mean, both of us were in tears and, you know, sleepless nights. You never knew was life ever gonna get back to normal. Emotionally for me, it was difficult because all I wanted to do is play golf, but I'd have like a good day and a bad day. So I think it was almost harder on them than it was on me. Last April, the Clouk family made the difficult decision for Jeff to undergo brain surgery in hopes of stopping his seizures. It's our life, but it was, I couldn't say no or take that away from him. Cause I mean, he wanted answers, I wanted answers. For much more on Jeff Klaus's compelling story, tune in this week and watch Inside the PGA Tour at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Golf Channel.